Good morning and welcome to a Eucharistic celebration. If there is anyone here for the first time we're visiting, we welcome you. We remind you that if your children need to use the bathrooms, they must be accompanied by an adult. Before starting our celebration, please let us remove all things that will distract us or others around us, and please turn off all cell phones and any other electronics. Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter. We hear about shepherding in most of today's scriptures. We appreciate how ancient and immediate these images are, and how it speaks to us of being gathered together for our own good. We hear Peter offering his initial preaching about death and resurrection of Jesus. His listeners felt a sense of responsibility for his death. We find a connection with our own sins, and we welcome his healing. Now I invite you to stand and towards, towards, turn towards the center to receive Father Ignacio. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water He has created, which will be sprinkled on us as a, mem as a memorial of our baptism. May He help us by His grace to remain faithful to the Spirit we have received. Almighty and living God, who will that through water, the fountain of life and the source of purification, even souls should be cleansed and receive the gift of eternal life, be pleased, we pray, to bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, this water by which we seek protection on this uh, your day, O Lord. Renew the living spring of your grace within us and grant that by this water we may be defended from all ills of spirit, of spirit and body, and so approach you with hearts made clean and worthily receive your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. So now I invite the ones who are on the sides to go to, be to the center, because I am by myself. I go and uh, sprinkle you with holy water. We sing a song, please.
Mary God cleanse us of our sins and through the celebration of this Eucharist make us worthy to share at the table of his kingdom. Amen. We sing the glory. for uh, our sick brothers and sisters, especially Maria Sandoval, Magdalena Guzman, Irineo Vargas Velázquez, also for the eternal rest of Alex Landeros, Susana Pérez. Let us pray. All Mary, ever living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the readings. A reading from the Act of the Apostles. Then, then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, 
Save yourselves from, the, from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized. And about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Be 
the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enter, enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice. And the shepherd calls his own sheep by name, and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger, they will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize that he was what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I said to you, I am the gate of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. So for the ones who uh, come from Mexico and today in our countries we celebrate Children's Day, El Dia de Niños, congratulations, even though we are viejitos. Um, another beautiful tradition I remember, to uh, this day you can just go everywhere, uh, free ice cream, churros, uh, gifts, uh, amazing, you know, how our culture and also how sad those traditions and beautiful community moments have disappeared uh, in many places. Of course, now we just want to be on the phone and be happy because they send us an emoji, right? Anyway, so going back to today's readings and today's uh, Sunday is also known as the Good Shepherd Sunday. And today we are invited to pray for our Pope, uh, bishops, priests, uh, everybody who is in a leading role in our church. And um, this day remind me this bishop who uh, was very sad one day because he was preaching to some seminarians and he was sad because he was telling the seminarians that Jesus always spoke the truth, said the truth, and he was rejected, he was uh, crucified, he died. Of course, he uh, resurrected after three days, but he emphasized how Jesus, even though he was um, uh, not accepted, rejected, he always uh, was uh, faithful to uh, be obedient to his father and his message, and they killed him. Then St. Paul, uh, the apostle, you know, of the Gentiles, every time almost that he will speak, he, they will stone him, they will, you know, throw him out of the synagogue, out of the cities, 
uh, and then they kill him. And then he was saying, me as a bishop, after my homily mass, people invite me coffee and donuts. And he was really questioning himself, am I telling the truth or am I just telling them what they, is pleasing to you? So uh, today is a Shepherd Sunday and I invite you to pray for all of us, our Pope, bishops, priests, that we will be faithful to the truth, faithful to Jesus, and we won't be uh, just trying to please people. And especially in a world that as one of the uh, presenters in the religious congress of the LA uh, that I attended, he was saying that our world is like this river that is changing every uh, second, every minute, every uh, hour. And it uh, seems that our world doesn't know where it goes because our world has removed God from our reality, from our society. And when we take out God, so we are in the center of everything. And when we human beings are in the center, it's precisely like this river. No? Especially in a world, in a reality where everything now seems to be based on perceptions and feelings. No more on science, no more on reality, no more on truth. And that's very dangerous. So it's a challenging time, it's a challenging world, and as I was saying last uh, two Sundays, my uh, speech, my homily is not because I'm rejecting, or I'm, uh, I hate uh, groups, no. I'm just, you know, talking and uh, speaking out of uh, reality, of truth, of science. It's like uh, even the church many years ago already said, Abortion, uh, conception begins when the conception happens. But now, no, after four weeks, after eight weeks, after I don't know how many, and now the most advanced science is, gonna, is telling us again, life begins the moment of conception. Uh, I was listening the other day, this uh, radio station, NPR, they were talking about this, and they were talking about how to accompany uh, these women, and one of them couldn't say that it was a child. You said, oh, when the product gets out, when the product is removed, when the product, so no more a human being, but a product. So we are products, we are not human beings, you know? And that's the way our world tries to convince us so many lies uh, in our society. And so that's, that's why it's very important that you pray for our Pope, bishops, priests, anyone on leading roles, that we will keep talking and, you know, being faithful, like Paul, like Jesus, St. Paul and Jesus, to the truth, through God. It's challenging? Yes. They were killed, they were rejected, but not because they wanted just to please people, but they, because they talked the truth. And now, going also a little bit deeper in today's reading, especially the Gospel, Jesus mentions that he is the shepherd, and the sheep know him, and he knows them by name. Now, one of the big questions, this is very interesting, why Jesus uh, mentioned sheep, little lambs, and why didn't he say, oh, my followers are like tigers, lions, or a more independent or powerful, you know, animal in our world. Why did he mention sheep? Because sheep are very insecure. They are afraid of everything. I don't know if you have seen in movies, I, I saw myself in reality because I'm coming from a rancho, you know, they are walking, walking, and if one goes to the left, everybody goes to the left. And if one starts, meh, meh, everyone starts. <laughs> and then they go to the right, and then they start running, and they don't know why one started running, but everybody goes behind that one running. Have you seen them, right? But then again, thinking deeply about human beings, about us, we are just like them. You know, all these followers, oh, they will be done, there will be a, cars doing donuts there in, in Compton, 
And all the sheep go there, right? And then something else, and you know, another one that is, you know, very sad. Challenges. And somebody put a challenge, and you should drink, drink, and this one, nothing will happen to you, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes, all the sheep doing the challenges. And how many young men and women have died following the challenges? You know? And we, I can mention many, many more examples of how we are sheep. We don't think, we don't reason, we just follow. I mean, one of the things, one of these farandulas, you know, she has more than seven million followers. Seven hundred million followers. It's two times almost the, the uh, population of the U.S. And you know, maybe whom I'm talking, I mean, but she, what's she teaching you? What's she teaching to 700 millions? You know? And so, we are like sheep. And we are also putting ourselves in danger. And not only ourselves, but our families. Because today the invitation, of course, is to follow Jesus, to listen to Jesus, to put aside all those voices, all those, you know, shepherds, that very beautifully at the end of today's gospel, Jesus said, a thief, a, a, a YouTuber, an influencer, <laughs> comes only to steal, to slaughter, and destroy. Steal, slaughter, destroy. And that's why many of these influencers, YouTubers, Farandula, are doing with our young people, with our society. Still, oh, you need to donate for me because, you know, I want to buy a Lamborghini and I want to buy a $3 million uh, uh, mansion. And they give the money to destroy. How many families have been or are being destroyed every day? Because, as I mentioned before, the authority of parents, of your parents, have been taken away. Your children don't trust you. Your children don't believe you. Your children don't obey you. Because now they believe that they think and they know better than you because they know how to open an app. Because they know how to, you know, download something like if that was, oh my God. But you, parents, have given them that power. Who bought the cell phones to your children? You. How many of you check? How many of you have put restrictions on the cell phones of your children? How many of you take away the cell phone of your young adolescent children at 9 p.m., as I have been suggesting? Oh, because parents are afraid of children now. Actually, last night I, I was watching a little bit of news, and again came this, uh, you know, advertisement about kind of, kind of about the marijuana. And again, the little girl, you know, there, the dad trying to talk to her. Oh no, I cannot. Ah, ahorita no. Like if she was the one working like you, mom and dad, eight, twelve, sixteen hours a day. And no, you cannot distract her because she's on her cell phone, sitting on the bed, talking with someone, and you cannot. Don't dare to, you know, take away that very important moment of your child. But we watch those things, and for us it's normal. No. No. Again, she's not working. She's not paying any bills. She's not worried about who is going to, you know, pay food, pay rent, pay the car, pay the insurance, but she's so busy that she can, she doesn't have time to talk to you or him. And that's unacceptable. And that's why, you know, it's good that we, again, follow Jesus. He's a good shepherd. He's going to lead us. He knows us. But also you parents, mom and dad, 
You are the shepherds of your family. You have the responsibility to guide them, to lead them. But please, you, were, you didn't become parent to be the best friend of your daughter or your son. Or to wear the same clothes and oh, oh, high five. No. That's wrong. You became parent, you became mom and dad to lead, to tell your children the truth, what's truth, what is a lie. But again, and it, but again, if instead of being the shepherd, the leader of your family, you become a follower, you become also a YouTuber because there are many parents who are YouTubers, then you are allowing all the tips, all the robbers, all the influencers, all the drugs, all those ideologies that are only based on feelings and perceptions to come and destroy your children, destroy your family. And so it's challenging, yes. Your children will get angry, upset with you, yes. But at the end, as we learn, because I am in the uh, so it's, uh, 50 years old. When our parents, when we were children, and they said, no to this, no to that, you need to do this, of course we got angry, but at the end, when we grew up, we realized how right our parents were, and how safe we were following, even when we were not happy, our parents, obeying them. But of course, when we were 6, 7, 10, 12, we didn't know the truth, we didn't know the world. Our parents knew. And that's why they told us and they guided us. And they didn't ask us permission, like today. Oh no, the changla was very good. Right? The changla, the cinto, el cable, lo que encontrara, anything my mom will find. But thanks, mom. I'm not saying to hit your children, but thanks, mom, because you didn't give up. You didn't follow the world. You didn't, you know, believe the others. You believe in your heart what was true for your children, the same that you. So, parents, mom and dad, pray during this week that God will help you to be good shepherds for your family, for your children. Amen. Please stand and we proclaim our faith. I believe in one God. All things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, born of the Father before all age. God from God, light from light, through God from through God. God did not make concerns with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again in the third day. He ascended to the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is sacred, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. We seek a life which is meaningful. We know that we are often distracted by things which prove to be the void of meaning, keeping the path which the shepherd makes known to us. We offer petitions for that really, for what really matters. That those who shepherd us will find every greater devotion to the people of God in their care, understanding well and real problems we face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that we all creatively gather together all of the people of the world so as to help one another discover the unity which our Creator intends for His people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That as we remember the many ways in which people provide human needs through farming, ranching, and shepherding, we will assure a just return for their labor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That we will strive to, so that this earth in which we dwell will remain a place fit for flourishing of human generations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who find themselves without a flock or community will heed to the invitations of people in the flock of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the resurrection of all who have died, especially those who have died recently, and for all those whose anniversaries occur at this time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We are praying for our sick brothers and sisters, especially Maria Sandoval, Magdalena Guzman, Irineo Vargas Velázquez, and also for the eternal rest of Alex Landeros, Susana Perez. We pray to the Lord. In a little moment of silence, we present to our Lord our own personal petitions and prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, you left us an example to have us follow in your footsteps. When we are consumed by uncertainty, remind us that we are to find ourselves thoroughly united with you when we accept the suffering which must come to us. For you, the Son of God, have won the victory for us, living and re reigning with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God your mighty Father. Grant we pray O Lord that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries and that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times acclaim you. 
but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for with the all order destroy a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ therefore overcome with Paschal joy every land every every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy on earth, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, light the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
together we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to one another sign of Christ's peace. and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Together we are going to pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite my soul wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We are going to be here in front, the three of us.
Ángeles y Serpines, ayudarme a bendecir. Ángeles y Serapines, ayudarme a bendecir. Ángeles y Serapines, ayudarme a bendecir. Hail Mary, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou most women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of death. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Look upon your flock with a, a kind shepherd and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please be seated for some announcements. So the first announcement is uh, we have a new activity, a new group here in our parish. Uh, they are called uh, Sagrado Corazón, Sacred Heart, the two tables that they have outside. Uh, they go uh, to Tijuana, they go to um, Mexicali, parts of Mexico in the border, and they bring uh, food, they bring uh, clothes, uh, so every time they go, they go a different place, and so now uh, they came to me, so I'm going to give them the opportunity to uh, invite you to help them in the, these activities. Uh, can you, can I borrow one? So it's very practical and also we are going to do a start very simple. So they have prepared 10 cards like this for each mass, so 10 families. Now they are going to go to a place where they, they will bring food. So here it says uh, specify the things that you, uh, uh, the ones with the little cards, Next week, you will bring in a plastic bag and put it here in front of our altar as an offering. So for this time, uh, this group will uh, require from the family who will take the car to uh, bring spaghetti, two uh, little packages, uh, one uh, libra, uh, one ounce of uh, Pound of arroz, frijol, azúcar, lentejas, avena, café, aceite de cocina, one bottle, uh, cooking oil, uh, sun cookies, cereal, uh, rollo de papel, uh, I mean, toilet paper, and three cans of fruit or uh, tomato sauce. And please, the ones who are going to take these cards, only bring what is here. Uh, and don't bring me a sack of frijoles, right? <laughs> no, um, because then we need to bring like a, a big uh, truck on trailer to bring everything. No, we want to start slowly and also because they are uh, limited vehicles, cars to go there. So that's why only 10 families per mass uh, who would like to next week bring this uh, food. Uh, for uh, then they will bring it to Tijuana or to Mexicali. So I need to, to them families, please raise your hands. Also, they are outside. If you wanna um, be part of the group, or gonna, uh, you can talk to them. Uh, it's a good opportunity also to uh, get involved. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna say. And now, it's only 10 families per mass. I don't want to have like 30, 40. I know that our community is very generous, but only 10 families per mass. And then we see how this works out and how also they handle the amount that our community is going to bring. And uh, I gave them opportunity because normally they were doing this among friends and relatives. And, you know, it's more challenging. But with our community, you know, each one of us, we can help in different uh, ways. Another, um, another announcement, rapidito, Mother's Day envelopes are available in the, uh, in the office. Please get one for your mom, for the past, uh, or the one who is still especially alive. Uh, if you still have your mom, please uh, uh, love her, call her, visit her, 
uh, don't wait until she's dead, you know, as I have been saying. Uh, then you bring the mariachi, the band, and everything for the funeral. For what? Right? If you didn't love her when she was still alive. So when she's dead, she will be like, ah, now? Right? <laughs> what about before? Right? So when she's alive, okay? Now, also, for the first time, we're going to do this uh, Mother's Day celebration dance. We're going to have uh, mariachi divas at uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Then uh, Ami Susonora, 8 p.m. to uh, 11 p.m. would be uh, Friday, May 12th. Also, that day, the school, our school is going to have the raffle, so also tickets are available, $2 uh, dollars a, a ticket. And today, our school is hosting an open house uh, this morning, uh, so if you want to come and join us and see, uh, visit our classrooms, they have a little presentation in the parish hall, so it would be amazing if uh, the ones who have children can join us. And Alexandra is here. She's going to say, uh, you need to come here so you can be at the... Uh, so she's going to mention something about our school. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I'm Ms. Gonzalez. I'm the principal of the school. And I just wanted to welcome everyone who is interested or considering uh, an education that's a Catholic education for their children. Today is a great day to come and find and get some information. I know there's some families here that are already part of our school or that have been a part of our school uh, and you can attest to um, how your children are at our school and I don't think you'd stay if it wasn't good. But for those that are here, uh, please spread the word and, and just let them know what a difference a Catholic education is. So really, you know, what is our mission and philosophy as a Catholic school? The, our mission and philosophy is the gospel of Christ, and that's, that's what we follow. And so our purpose is to form children, when we say whole child, so we really believe that building those foundations of knowledge, yes, reading and writing and all of those skills that are needed for academics, but that only comes to light when you have it through the lens of faith. How do I use my knowledge, right, for better and serving others? So we hope that our children are formed in that way. And parent partnership is such an important part of a Catholic education. So it's not a, I pay, so I drop my child off and you fix them. No, it's, I pay, but I also believe in community, so I'm going to serve, and we, we want to be a part of this parish community. And my hope as part of our school is that we really develop children that love God, that love their faith, that find joy in service, and value this community and learn how to give back. Whatever their unique talents are in a Catholic school, it's, it is a smaller environment. We know each one of them. We value for who they are. They are all different. We need to understand. We need to nurture that. But we also need to know that what they do with that is more important as well. It's to give back, it's to serve God, and it's to serve others. And so I hope that if you are considering or maybe not sure and think it's not possible, anything is possible, so please come by to get some information. We'll do a quick 10-minute um, presentation in the hall for those right after Mass. And then after that, we'll have some student ambassadors who will give you a little bit of experience, testimony for themselves, and take you on a little tour. And if you have a child that's going into another classroom, they will take you to meet the teacher. And the teacher is there to answer any questions that you have. And so we also uh, want to encourage scheduling a tour at any time. We think it's better that people come when a school day is actually happening to see how it looks and feels and sounds. Uh, and we also encourage a night for a day program, which is a student chatter day. And we really think that when a student experiences an actual day in our school, uh, they will really enjoy it. And so far, 100%, whoever comes, they always say, oh, I really like it here. I want to come here. And so also, you know, your children may have that hesitancy to change schools or leave their friends. But I think if they experience how different a day is uh, at our school, they, they might enjoy and, and, and open uh, to, to changing. So please come by and spread the word. We're here from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. today. But if you miss, we're still open to give more information 
this coming May. Open enrollment for new families starts tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Also part of school, they, we have a Girl Scouts, they are selling cookies, so maybe for the coffee or for the week. Uh, hopefully you will also uh, buy some of the uh, cookies. Uh, last announcement, next week we have a second collection to support the Cardinal McIntyre Fund. Uh, so talk to your family, how you can help to this uh, second collection that uh, is used to help for food, utilities, transportation, medicine, housing, and funeral expenses in the different parishes uh, in our archdiocese. Uh, anyone celebrating birthday during uh, this day, please raise your hand. Anyone? No one? Okay. Uh, any couple celebrating your wedding anniversary in the Catholic Church that would like to come up here to be blessed? No? Any family with children? A child to be blessed? Okay, very good. Please stand. Please bow your heads and ask for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs of an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Come down, you, and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and our brothers and sisters. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Have a wonderful week. Amen.